Today, we are uncovering the mystery of the drunken bull in chapter 2 of Black Lake. This is a hidden side quest that leads to a secret area. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men. In the second chapter's Yellow Wing Rage, you will come across the Yellow Robbed Square, who is famously referred to as the Drunken Ball. Look for him near the Rocket's Flat Shrine. The Drunken Ball is in a bit of predicament as he's heavily intoxicated and requires your assistance to sober up. Raise thy cup! Seek answers on high! Who defies death? Eat every sky! Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Two more jars from Windrest. Make it quick. Two more jars from Windrest. Make it quick. To acquire the sobering stone, you can buy it from the man in stone after completing this quest for 6,480 will. Be selling it to no one if it wasn't Once you return the item to the drunken bowl, he will express his gratitude and then announce his quest for a heartful meal. Should you engage him in the conversation once more, he will share rumors. His head of rats remains at the crouching tiger's temple. He will decline your offer to fetch them and he will set out to investigate his oh, house. How refreshing! You woke me up! Thanks! <laughs> Enough of the chit chat! My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Ugh, you should eat more, skinny. When you fast travel from the shrine to the Crouching Tiger's temple entrance, go up the stairs and turn right just before reaching the top. The bull will be resting against a far wall under one of the huge tiger sculptures. When you speak to him, he will complain about the poor meat quality and express his preference for a meatless meal. He will request a jade lotus, which you might have already collected a bunch of by now. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat, will you? Drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? If not, you can find jade lotus to pick in most pounds and bodies of water, like the one right at the beginning of the chapter. They will discuss the realm of gold and ask you to retrieve the legendary Ahat gold piece. This precious item can be acquired by defeating the first friends of Morin Sands. I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Mm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Mm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. A senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Mm -hmm. It's the right time now. 
I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. Its people are not yet extinct. Our senior brother. Hmm. It's the right time now. Head back to the drunken boat tavern at the Yellow Wind Ridge where you initially encountered him. He will expose his true identity and propose a duel. Where did you acquire my brother's gold piece? Get it here! him will unlock the secret area, the kingdom of Sahalu, and you will also receive the Snoot Max Head Gear, which offers unique abilities. What an excellent fight! The intensity! <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own end. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Guai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Guai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Uh, uh, uh. 